वेलकम बैक वेलकम टू द पार्ट टू ऑफ डेटा एनालिसिस फॉर कोविड 19 फॉर मेकिंग प्रोडिक्शन एंड डूइंग डेटा एनालिसिस सो इन द लास्ट वीडियो यू हैव सीन हाउ टू लोड द डेटा फ्रॉम कैगल सो जस्ट टू रिकैप यू वेरी क्विकली वी आर यूजिंग कोविड 19 ग्लोबल फॉरकास्टिंग वीक थ्री डेटा टू डू द एनालिसिस एंड वी हैव ऑलरेडी अपलो मीन्स लोडेड अवर डेटा विद इन द विद इन अवर नोटबुक एंड वी हैव लोडेड इन टू द डेटा फ्रेम्स and so now uh, as the data is available already in the data frame which we have loaded in the previous uh, node it means in the previous uh, video so what i did i have just created a pivot table and uh, about the fatality and the confirmed cases and if i run this you will see the table will look like this somewhat and uh, Uh, that the confirmed cases of uh, each country and with the fatality rate and then i sort them according to the ascending means or order of fatalities and confirmed cases so by this code you can see i'm printing ascending order in this confirmed column and then fatality column in this table so if i run this code you see so currently by today there are 27000 uh, Two lakh seventy-five thousand four hundred twenty-six cases in U.S. and the fatality is zero seven zero eight three. Italy, it is this. Spain is the third highest, and in the fatality, you can see in the second table the top first is Italy. So Italy has the most number of fatality cases, and then Spain, and then U.S., then France, then China. So why don't we do a plot of this using plot plot plot? plotly express express uh, package and we see using the graph that currently the us has the maximum cases and then italy then spain then germany then china france iran united kingdom turkey and switzerland so it is the latest so latest data we which we gathered uh, since yesterday means uh, yeah since yesterday and then what i did that i these are the confirmed cases plot so you can see top 10 confirmed covid cases by the country but if we see the fatality so the fatality you can see the fatality currently italy has the most cases in terms of fatality so there are 14681 people spain 11198 then us then france the united kingdom so currently united kingdom in fatality is at number 5 but in confirm kit cases it's at number 8 i believe so this is what currently fatality and confirmed cases are there and then uh, i did this in the top 10 confirmed cases which i did already have shown to you now just to add two other countries so which are in the growing stage now which they have just started taking precautions because in, in currently in india since last two weeks i believe there is a lockdown and in pakistan also similar condition so i have added these two countries in my top index uh, top confirmed cases and then let's see that how cumulative plot that if we sum the number of confirmed cases in a cumulative some manner how these countries are doing so you can see very easily using this plot that uh, so using this plot see maybe the that the, the china which is in blue so they have started going up right in january and then in february they came here and then 15 february they are here and in the march they are somewhere here and then they means they are, they slightly means they are not growing very fast but in other countries which is an exception in us you can see us is going pretty high as a exponential growth in the confirmed cases similarly in united kingdom you can see over here this is the line for the united kingdom which is going high 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 so uh, means most of the european countries they are going high after 1st of march so there is exponential growth you can see in most of the countries whereas in china in that particular period of time they are stabilizing stabilizing their growth right so now uh, me doing more analysis on the confirmed cases what i did i did a 
plot on the daily number of cases so you can see I have created this type of table where for each country so I have converted all the means I converted the long data basically into white format using this pivot table and date wise I have arranged them that on which date what are their cases and you can see if I plot this particular part you can see very very clearly that uh, means these all are the countries so let's start with China so China over here in 27th of February means uh, sorry 27th of January and then February started somewhere here that China around 14th or 15th of Feb there are so many cases reported in each day you can see this is the analysis and then in the March is going down 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 and then they are means they are not increasing number of cases per day which is very very negligible means it I won't say it's negligible but in hundreds mainly but in US you can see with the red line plot so with that each number of day after 2nd of March seen the number of growth oh my god it's growing exponentially each day reporting nearly 30,000 cases or plus more than that right similarly United Kingdom you can see with the pink line over here which is burying in between some European countries and they are they are means they are still growing right so these are the number of daily cases which we can see now uh, using this plot we use I'm using the subplot function and for each country I'm plot I have plotted that um, how many cases are there day wise so let's get that run and then you can see in my plot that tick, 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 that the US oh my god so you can see each day so I have plotted it from 11th of March so 11th of March you can see daily cases in US is growing 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 similarly in Italy it's growing 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 and then growing up 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 and, and nearly in 22nd of March there is some drop but that's a kind of fluctuation I would say then again gone up gone down and going up I don't know whether it's going to be kind of a Gaussian somewhat like that or maybe it will come down I'm not sure and Spain's similar behavior as Italy you can see it's going fluctuating over here but it's going to the maximum level over here and then they have taken some measures to make it down maybe this lockdown is working or maybe strict rules Germany again same behavior as Italy and Spain you can see amazing thing isn't happening in China maybe you can people say that it is an outlier because I don't say it means it is an outlier because if you means if you put this case of China in your predictive model so means they have taken some measures and now they have stabilized but as you can see around 10th of Feb March no sorry 10th of February up to this uh, 24th of February you see there is a peak gone nearly 15,000 plus cases each day and then it's coming down 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 and that's it's good France similarly again like Italy Spain and Germany so in each day in number of cases France have nearly 8,000 means around April of 1st something like that in Iran so in Iran see it's going for started in January again sorry starting in February again March it's going up 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 and still going up up in April but now it's showing that it's coming down finger crossed that it may come down United Kingdom where we are currently and government is taking good protective measures to hold this uh, spread of the coronavirus but you can see started in February and then it's nearly no cases means very less than started in March and see it's growing 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 and going up and still it's going up every day right so Turkey same behavior right Switzerland again same behavior as other European countries have shown India you can see now that it's such a huge densely populated country I don't know means there is a lockdown in last third means like last week they have announced the lockdown so you can see it's going means it's there and then started reporting the cases going up 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 and means 
I'm not sure about this peak. Maybe the data is not coming correctly or either they are not performing the test or they are doing the test. Similar thing happening with Pakistan. The cases are going up, but they are not nearly means one fifth of the population are there as compared to India. Not even one fifth means less than that, right? So you can see there are nearly in the means the peak is means it's somewhat different right in Pakistan. So this is what we had uh, daily cases uh, analysis and then uh, let me go down and do the plot wise each of this country that when on which day of this, this particular pandemic time that uh, which date particular country gone up so it means what is the maximum cases registered in these top 12 countries so you can see in us on 4th of uh, uh, means 3rd of april its maximum cases it's registered nearly 32k italy it was registered date on 21st of march spain it is registered 25th of march Germany maximum cases registered on 27th of March China it's 13th of February they have reported the maximum cases France again the maximum cases on uh, 31st of March Iran 3rd of, 30th of March 3rd of April United Kingdom Turkey similarly and India and Pakistan are still very low now coming to the fatality so previous plots are about confirmed cases now let's see fatality so we did the same thing with the fatality also and you can see in the china the fatality gone up in the feb and then it's gone down 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 so there means very less fatality currently happening in in iran still the fatality you can see iran and france the fatality is sorry the france i believe the fatality is going very up uh, right and uh, similarly you can see with italy the fatality is high the green color is spain the fatality is high us where is us tick 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 with red and you can see it's the second highest fatality over here in us similarly uh, the fatalities in us still going up italy same behavior uh, Spain same behavior Germany same behavior China you can see very easily that China gone fatality high in Feb mid of Feb and then came down France going up Iran going up United Kingdom going up Turkey still going up Switzerland is still going up India and Pakistan somewhat fluctuating now uh, let's see and the number of fatalities happened in the in this country on which date so fatality registered the maximum fatality registered in france you can see but the confirmed cases was in us i believe in our previous plot that was on 4th of uh, uh, sorry 3rd of april but in uh, you can see in in france the fatality highest registered was 2nd of april and that was 1355 people died right and the second highest is us then the third highest is spain on 2nd of april and 27th of march italy and then united kingdom reported 3rd of april 3rd of april yes so this is what the analysis says and new registered cases so so let's see the variation so the last part of this analysis before we go forward in the next part is the variation in the cases on the daily basis so i plotted the difference between the confirmed cases date wise so let's see the plot is plotting currently and tick 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 and yeah it's plotted so you see variation in so here is the april and you can see it is the march so the cases some days going up coming it's not i would say not coming down because it's a difference between the two dates so on the 20th of april they have slightly less cases than 19th of april uh, 19th of march 
and then it's gone up then sometime some days go down up go down so it's lots of fluctuating behavior similarly it, in italy it's going up down up down so you can see a lot of spikes like things in spain I means some days it's going up some is negative 1500 cases means registered like previously for example if there are 3000 and in previous days just 1500 cases registered so that's why this this peak is in negative similar behavior with germany china france iran so they all are doing pretty similar right but you can see in china they have made a control that's why over this period of time there is a lot of fluctuation some days cases going up down and down now it's pretty much stabilized so except china i believe in any of the plot there is no stabilization currently so yes so there is no stabilization in any of the country except china so that is what we have analyzed in this part two series of covid data analysis and we'll do more analysis in our next part and thanks for watching if you have any question and if you want to do if you want for me to do anything more analysis if you have some suggestion please feel free to comment on this video and please suggest if you would like to make any improvement or i have made any errors and i have get, gathered the data from kaggle i have really gone through so many notebooks i compiled this and thanks for watching the class of ai please subscribe to my channel thank you see you in the next part of the video